Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, November 7th, and today we are talking about, um, we're kind of moving into that next level of faithfulness, and we're talking about the things that kind of hinder us. So that brings us to Hebrews 12, verse 18, and it starts out with a list of of things that we do not have to live under the umbrella of. And it says, you have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire to darkness, gloom, and storm. So you are not in, in the presence of fire, darkness, gloom, and storm. You've not come to a trumpet blast or to, a, to such a voice speaking words that those who heard it begged that no further word be spoken to them. You're not receiving words from the Lord that beg, that make you beg that he stop talking because they're so painful to take, because they're so terrifying to take, because they could not bear what was commanded. If even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned to death. The sight was so terrifying that Moses said, I am trembling with fear. So what this is giving you is it's giving you a comparison of the Old Testament way. There was this holy mountain. It was absolutely terrifying. Hearing the words of the Lord's words come from this mountain were so terrifying that sometimes they begged that he would stop talking. Um, the sight of Moses coming off of this mountain had them trembling. It had Moses trembling with fear. Um, it was a very ominous thing, and that fear of the Lord had that, that tone of ominousness. And then Jesus comes, and the new covenant is ushered in. He's died on that cross. We're covered by this grace, and we're showered in the love of Jesus Christ. And that brings us to verse 22, and this is what we have. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You are a part of God's kingdom. You are included. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyfully, joyful assembly. They're rejoicing. They're rejoicing that we are engaging in God's kingdom, that we're a part of God's kingdom. They, they are rejoicing every time a new believer comes to Christ. They're rejoicing. To the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven, you've come to that moment where you have that unmerited gift of that grace. You have come to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of the righteous made per perfect. So we've come to God, who is the judge of all, and the, it, the righteous have been made perfect. And how are we made perfect? Through that uh, sacrifice that Jesus Christ did on that cross to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. As you go through your day, it's so easy to get overwhelmed, to get bogged down in the stress, to get yourself in a place where you're, you're fearing fearful, feeling fearful, and you're feeling all this anxiety. That is not what this relationship with Jesus Christ is all about. It's walking in authority. It's walking in boldness. It's knowing that he's the King of Kings and he's the Lord of Lords. He's on his throne. He's got you. He's got you. He's leading you. He's guiding you. And even though you can't see five steps out, he's showing you that next step. And your calling is to take that next step. So as you go into your prayer closet, rebuke that anxiety in Jesus' name. It has no place in your relationship with Christ. Instead, pray over that boldness, that boldness of knowing that I belong to Jesus Christ. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.